I was going to just show a few things that I got in today. Um, some of them were purchased, and uh, there's a one TTM uh, for Thursday, and I'll just get into that really quickly. The first thing I found was a uh, pack of um, trading cards. It's a special trading card set based on the Ken Burns film, uh, Upper Deck and GM in the corner there and it's a nine card set that captures baseball's historic past I'm not a hundred percent sure if this came with a, a DVD or if it came out no it came with a VHS tape I think I'm not a hundred percent sure but the pack is dated 1994 uh, the second thing I got today was this Oregon State College uh, book cover dust jacket it didn't cost very much um, this is actually before Oregon State University was a university and the neat thing about this is you flip it over to the back and it's advertising old gold cigarettes. I don't think that's neat, but back in the old days I guess that's what they uh, what they thought was pretty cool. So it just kind of it dates the book cover uh, with the cigarette advertisement on the back of it. Uh, eventually Oregon State University. I got one more book here. It's a strange book. I don't know exactly how old it is. It's bodybuilding with uh, uh, barbells and dumbbells. And it's a six complete courses by a Richard Klein. Um, I guess he was a famous bodybuilder back in the. He's the physical director to the stars. Um, so that's I guess who he was. But it's interesting if you flip it over in the middle here, you'll see um, a bunch of other bodybuilders from back in the day before Arnold and uh, Jack Lane probably, and um, you know some of the other other guys that we remember today. So I thought that was kind of neat. I don't think any of them are alive. I'm pretty sure they're not. This book looks like it was from... Oh, it's 1945. So if they're still alive, they're probably in their 90s. Um, the last, last couple things I got here. I got a TTM uh, from... And I cannot remember his name. Stephen Moran. And uh, Stephen Moran um, is, a, is, a, is an author uh, of uh, space-related books. He also has... Uh, I've done one of the editions for uh, Astronomy for Dummies, so that's why he signed the book plate. He was also uh, the project scientist on the Orbiting Solo Observatory number H and another a few other um, uh, NASA projects. He was also the co-investigator of Goddard High uh, thing, Resolution Spectrograph on the Hubble Space Telescope. So he has nicely autographed this Hubble space envelope. I had to paste an address over there. Um, but if you ever find these Hubble space telescope envelopes, there's a lot of people that worked on the Hubble space telescope that are relatively easy to uh, get autographs for. So that was kind of a neat one. The last thing comes all the way from Australia. I don't have the envelope, um, but I got some rugby cards, and they were only like five cents to uh, 25 cents per card. They were auctioned and nobody outbid me. Uh, these are from uh, Scanlon's Gum and Stimmerol Gum. And the reason why I found out about these old Scanlon's cards is that a long time ago I had a baseball card collecting book that showed some of them in there. And the neat thing is that a lot of them look like Topps cards. This one uh, looks like the 1979-80 uh, Topps Hockey. And uh, so this is Kelly O'Donnell. It was 20 cents. Uh, the biggest part of it was the shipping from Australia, but um, and it was 20 cents because it was not in good condition. There's some creasing and stuff on it. But if this card was mint, it'd be like a five dollar card, and I don't want to pay for a mint card. Most of these are worth a dollar to five dollars or more in, in mint condition. This one happens to have a puzzle back, and that's from Scanlon's. Then there's another one from 1987. I don't remember when that was. That was from 82, I think, or 83, I don't remember. This is a Scanlon's from 1987, and this is Stephen James. It's got some marking on there, that's why it was cheap. It was like four cents. Um, here's uh, uh, Carl Boris Langdon, and some of them are kind of neat because they've got a spot for where you can have their autograph right there, so I thought that was kind of neat. That's where your autograph goes. We got um, Paul Rosie Ruse. And I think these are from the early 90s. And then we've got uh, Brett Stevens. 
on the Fitzroy Lions. And uh, these are the Stimerol gum, and that's uh, Stimerol, and the other ones are from Scanlon's. So I thought those were pretty neat, and it was a new part of my collecting. And uh, hopefully everybody enjoyed this, and thank you for watching.